This guide will teach you the optimal settings and best possible add-ons you can use in Wrathful Lich King. At Skillcapped, we've worked with not only the most experienced, but absolute highest rated Wrath of the Lich King players in the game to bring all this information to you so you have the best possible setup. We will start with your game settings and then we'll run you through the best add-ons right after that. We've also conveniently put together an add-on pack for you which you can find on our Discord server, link in the description. Also, feel free to follow along with this guide in real time while you're logged into WoW. In doing this, once you're done with the video, you'll literally have the exact same settings and add-ons the very best players use. And while that will help a ton, just having the very best setup won't get you all the way to Gladiator. You'll need to know how to play like the best as well, which is where skill cap comes in. We've spent a lot of time making the best class guide courses with the world's best players, teaching you the most efficient ways to start hard carrying your games and climbing an arena. We're so confident we literally guarantee you'll climb at least 400 rating when actively using skill cap, or you can claim a full refund, so be sure to check us out right after this. And with that said, let's get straight into Skillcap's guide on the best pro settings and must-have add-ons for Wrath of the Lich King Classic. First, go to System and then Graphics. Make sure you've enabled Projected Textures and then set your Particle Density to at least be good. This is very important as it makes spells players use that interact with the environment much easier to play around. For example, without this setting, you'll have a really hard time knowing exactly where things like Frost Trap starts and ends. Next, move into advanced settings and adjust your UI scale. Players often have this way too high, leaving little space in their screen for other things like add-ons, which we'll cover later. Or players set this way too low, making it difficult to gather information from things such as their unit frames. We will optimize your UI scale later in this video, but for now, set your UI scale to a similar level to this. The next setting we'll be adjusting is sound. It's weirdly common for players to disable sound in WoW, which severely limits their awareness to vision alone, when there are plenty of important things you should be listening for. Go ahead and make sure you've enabled sound in the ambience setting. This will allow you to hear things like when interrupts are used or when a rogue appears close to you while in stealth. We do recommend disabling error speech though, as it's pretty annoying when you're spamming abilities. Next, go to interface and controls, then enable sticky targeting. This is great as it will prevent you from losing your target whenever you click on the ground, which happens a lot when you use your mouse for movement. Next, go to combat, and here is a change that isn't a mandatory one, but it can provide important information when you're playing either as a rogue or against a rogue. If you enable floating combat text and combat state, you'll be notified each time you either enter or leave combat, which can really help you understand if you should be trying to avoid getting sapped or if you're the rogue looking for restealths. Next, you want to make sure that you enable target of target. This gives you excellent intel for who the enemy is dealing damage to. Then you should disable the focus cast key and the self cast key. These settings can interfere with how you bind your spells. And lastly, make sure to enable auto self cast. This is a nice quality of life change that makes it easy for you to cast spells on yourself without the need to self target each time or create specific macros. For example, without enabling this setting, casting blessing of freedom on yourself while targeting an enemy wouldn't be possible. You'd need to self target or use a macro instead. Moving on, go to display and set status text to both. This allows you to tell how geared a player is by seeing their HP, while also letting you see what percentage their health is on, which is great for classes that have an execute ability. Next up, let's change some settings for our action bars. Start by enabling all action bars and then disabling the setting to show numbers for cooldowns. You don't need to enable this because we'll use an add-on for this instead, which is better, which we'll show in the add-on section. Next, in the name settings, you want to enable always show nameplates and then make sure you have both both enemy units and minions enabled, as without these, enemy nameplates would not be visible. You can also enable friendly players here, which we recommend for healers. As a DPS, you tend to rely on markers to see where teammates are rather than nameplates. We then have a choice to make between overlapping and stacking nameplates. We generally recommend using overlapping nameplates as it better indicates the exact position of enemy players. However, if you're a player who relies on clicking nameplates to target, feel free to swap to stacking nameplates as it does make it easier to single out specific nameplates for clicking. Another setting you want to change here is to set your camera following style to never. This will allow you to reposition your camera to adjust your field of view while moving your character. This allows you to smoothly move in one direction while looking in another without the game reverting your camera for you when you stop controlling your camera. And while you're here, do make sure you increase the max camera distance so you have the ability to zoom out further as needed. A nice quality of life improvement can then be found in features where you should enable both use equipment manager and preview talent changes to allow for quick switching between gear sets and to avoid unnecessary respects if you accidentally select the wrong talents when choosing your build. 
All right, now for the final setting you want to adjust, which is within your raid profiles. Make sure you enable raid style party frames, as this makes it way easier to see your teammates' health, mana, buffs, and debuffs. Then you want to enable power bars, class colors, pets, and show debuffs. Disable everything else for a nice clean look, alongside adjusting the height and width to maximum. And there you have it. You now have what is widely agreed upon as the very best settings you can possibly have. Congratulations! But we're only halfway there, as we still need to set up your add-ons. Add-ons have become more and more impactful in Arena as time has passed, so although we're going back in time to Wrath of the Lich King, the way players have evolved with add-ons on retail to the present day will still exist in Wrath of the Lich King, so you want to be prepared. The first add-on we recommend is Leatrix Plus. This enables you to adjust the position of your player, target, and focus frames. In addition, you can reposition your buffs and debuffs as well. Once you install the add-on, type slash LTP and go into frames and enable manage frames, manage focus, manage buffs, enable class colored frames, and hide griffins. Then click reload to reload your UI. From here, you can use the cog wheels to position your frames. We also suggest scaling up your buff frame slightly. After that, how you choose to position these is your choice, but we do suggest moving your player, target, focus, and raid frames into a similar position to what you see here. This is a great guideline and it has the goal of bringing all of your frames as close as possible to your central field of view, so you will have a very easy time glancing at these frames during your games. Compare this to a UI that has a low scale and frames in the default position, you can see just how difficult your life would be without these changes. Next is Omni CC. This add-on is essential for getting an accurate understanding of when buffs and debuffs are ending. Without this, you'll notice that buffs and debuffs tick without a precise timer. This add-on also of course works with your own spells as well, giving you a precise timing for when your abilities will come off cooldown. Omni CC works without any additional setup required. Next up we have Big Debuffs, a very powerful add-on that makes it way easier to see buffs and debuffs on both your unit frames and your raid frames. Go into settings and increase the number of maximum debuffs. You should also redirect other debuffs. You can also customize the anchor, but we suggest leaving it set to inner. You will also want to adjust settings within nameplates as the default settings here don't align buffs and debuffs next to nameplates very well. So play around with the anchor, size, X and Y offset to get the nameplates module to look something like this. Lastly, if you want to edit any of the spells that show up in Big Debuffs, you'll need to edit the LUA file. We've got instructions on how to do this in our Discord server, so again, be sure to join it, link in the description. The next add-on you'll want to get is Loss of Control Alerter, which makes it significantly easier to instantly know exactly what crowd control has been applied to your character, as it will display key debuffs in the middle of your screen. This works without any setup needed and essentially matches the default feature found on the retail version of WoW. Next we have Omnibar, which is essential for tracking enemy cooldowns. We suggest positioning this in the central area of your screen, just above your cast bar. This add-on is absolutely crucial for tracking not only enemy interrupts, but important offensive and defensive cooldowns to help you understand what game state you're currently in. We've got a fantastic Omnibar guide available on our Academy course, which does a great job of detailing how you can use the information available on Omnibar to outplay your opponents, so be sure to check that one out if you want to elevate your ability to use Omnibar to win games. And if you want to know what spells we recommend tracking, be sure to join our Discord server, link in the description, for a list of spells that will help you dictate the pace of your arena games. In addition to tracking enemy cooldowns with Omnibar, you should also be using Omni CD to track important cooldowns of your teammates, especially their PvP trinket, defensives, and crowd control. For the most part, this one works right out of the box. All we suggest doing is typing slash Omni CD to open up the settings, going to arena, position, and then setting the position to left. Feel free to play around with the other settings, but the default one should work just fine. And if you want to customize which spells appear for your teammates, go to Spells, select a class, and then add or remove spells as needed. We suggest trying to minimize the number of spells you track, focusing mostly on high impact defensives and crowd control. The next one is Gladi. This add-on is essential as it provides you with a ton of information that the default arena frames don't have, including diminishing returns, trinket cooldowns, and racial cooldowns. There is a lot you can customize on this one, but our suggestion is to simply select one of the included X icon profiles. We've chosen the classic profile as it closely mirrors the add-on most retail players are familiar with, Gladius. 
We then suggest disabling the buffs and debuffs module and the cooldowns module as you'll be using Omnibar for that. You can optionally disable the totem plates and totem pulse depending on whether or not you find these modules useful. And then be sure to follow our layout guidelines from earlier by having your arena frame centered and set to the right side of your screen so you can gather key information at all times. And while Gladi helps you track the diminishing returns of the enemy team, Diminish will help you track DRs on yourself. We suggest disabling it on every frame except for your player frame and optionally your party frames. With this add-on, you'll have a much easier time knowing when the enemy team is ready to put you in crowd control, allowing you to correctly reposition, preemptively use defensive cooldowns, or even play more aggressively during the moments where you know you're on DR and can't be effectively crowd controlled. Jack's Party Cast Bars is another fantastic add-on for increasing your overall awareness by allowing you to see the cast bars of your teammates. With this knowledge, you'll know if your healer is about to land a heal or if your DPS partner is casting crowd control or damage so that you can time your globals accordingly. You can play around with the position, but we like to place it just to the left of the raid frames underneath the Omni CD cooldown tracker. Next, we have advanced interface options, and while this is not directly related to PvP, it gives you access to adjust settings that can impact PvP. First, move into the combat section and adjust your lag tolerance, which should be set to around 100 above your latency to make your gameplay much more fluid. Without going into much detail, having this set as zero will make it difficult to chain globals back to back without a gap in between them. But pushing the setting too high, gameplay will be sluggish, especially for melee classes. We also recommend going into the CVAR browser and searching for show class color in nameplates and setting the value to 1 to enable class colored nameplates. Lastly, you can adjust the cast action keybinds on key down, depending on your preference. We suggest having this enabled by leaving it set to 1 so your abilities are triggered once you press down on the key, as this will make your overall gameplay faster and smoother. However, some players do prefer to have this option disabled. The benefit of doing so is that it allows them to hold down a key and then have it activate the moment they let go, which can help players do things faster. For example, holding down and then releasing a key to instantly interrupt a spell the moment the cast begins. If you'd prefer to disable this setting, search for action button, use key down, and change its value to zero. Moving on, while the modern version of WoW comes with on-screen alerts to help identify procs, WoW from 10 years ago didn't have such a great quality of life feature. To combat this, you'll want to pick up Spell Activation Overlay. Most classes have some sort of proc that augments an ability in some way, and with this add-on, you'll have an easy time seeing whenever you have relevant procs. The next add-on, Weapon Swing Timer, is really useful for warriors and ret paladins to know when their hard-hitting white swings are about to trigger. The only change here is to disable the target swing bar to remove unnecessary clutter on your UI, and then position your Weapon Swing Timer to where you prefer. You can optionally also set the Out of Combat Alpha to zero. After that, lock all bars, and now you'll always see the timing between each auto attack. Another great add-on for both playing as a rogue and against rogues is combat. This add-on allows you to see if your target is in combat, allowing you to know if a target is vulnerable to being sapped. With this information, rogues will have an easier time landing saps and other players looking to avoid a sap, especially in the opener, can tell the moment any of their teammates get into combat so they can grab combat off of them with something like a buff. Another add-on that most of you are already familiar with but shouldn't forget for Arena is Details. This is essential for self-improvement, so you can compare your damage and healing against others who play the same class as you and figure out what you may be doing wrong if they outperform your damage or healing. We also suggest picking up Bind Pad if you're struggling for binds. Unlike Retail, most classes in Wrath require more than 5 action bars worth of binds. To combat this, Bind Pad allows you to create essentially an unlimited amount of additional binds. Simply type slash Bind Pad and create a macro like this. This. You then left click the macro to bind it and you're done. And speaking of macros, don't forget to join our Discord server where skill cap members gain access to the Ask a Pro and Request a Macro forum. There, our team of pros are always ready to provide personalized help with macros and your UI. Join today, link in the description. Next up, My Slot is a symbol add on that allows you to set up profiles for changing your action bars as needed. Unlike Retail, where you can change talents on the fly and can easily switch between a PvP and a PvE build, Wrath Classic has a very clear distinction between a PvE and a PvP build for any given spec. As a result, it's likely that your action bars will require a different setup for your PvE and PvP build. And if you play more than one spec, such as playing both a Frost and Arcane Mage in different types of content, you'll need to change your action bars each time you respec your talents. My Slot makes your life easy by allowing you to save your entire action bar setup by saving a string, which you can then restore by importing the string. We've also included two bonus add-ons which we've created from scripts. These are UI and Sort Group. UI will darken all of your frames, as seen in the example clips throughout this video. And for anyone using Party 1 and Party 2 macros, Sort Group will always allow you to position your frames in the same way, with Party 1 on top, Party 2 in the middle, and yourself on the bottom. 
All you need to do is head into Raid Profiles, uncheck Keep Groups Together, and sort by group and it will automatically work. Last up, we have Weak Auras. This is a beast of an add-on and honestly warrants its own video. One of the things we do recommend doing is setting up Weak Auras like this to remind you of missing buffs. All you have to do is type in the name of the buff and set the trigger to be a missing aura. But let us know in the comments if you'd like to see a more in-depth Weak Auras guide for Wrath of the Lich King Classic similar to our one for retail. And that's it! You've now achieved rank 1 level settings and add-ons with a single skill cap guide. Now it's time for you to acquire the skills to actually start playing like the best, and that's where skill cap comes in. Check out our platform if you truly want to improve at Arena, with class guides forged by the world's best players, showing you the optimal way to rank up in Arena and master your class. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.